Scorpio, welcome to your reading. This will be a Celtic cross for the month of May. We'll pull clarifiers and advice cards and a special oracle at the end pertaining to whoever's going through this situation. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys are doing awesome. Let's get into it. Spirit, angels, guides, ancestors of love and light, we thank you for your help today with Scorpio's reading for whatever they need to know for the highest good. All right, Scorpio, what is going on? This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. If it doesn't, we have shown up as the Page of Wands crossed by the Ace of Pentacles. In your focus, we have the Two of Cups. In the recent past, we have the Empress. In your strength, the Three of Cups. In the immediate future, the Tower. The energy supporting this reading, the Queen of Wands. The outside influence you may or may not be aware of, the Hanged Man. The Ace of Wands in the position of hopes and fears and the potential outcome. Queen of Cups, nice. The overall energy of your reading, Scorpio. The Knight of Cups, excellent. And the reason we're here today, what is bringing us to whatever the situation is, Page of Swords, because we're taking another look at something. Page of Swords, getting ready, watching, looking, learning, taking a closer look. Okay. All right, excellent, excellent. So, Knight of Pentacles, this is all about expressing ourselves, messages of emotion hopefully love but it could be any emotion the knights are messengers expressing oneself we have uh, the page of wands is a new interest uh, going after something that uh, has our heart a flutter perhaps crossed by the ace of pentacles this is an opportunity to build something that brings stability from the ground up as long as you are willing to put in the work in your focus, the Two of Cups, this is a soul connection. Two people coming with their love cup to share. Some sort of partnership. Could be romantic, could be familial, could be friends, it could be work partners. Because anybody can be a soul connection. We'll find out more with the clarifiers. <coughs> Excuse me. I think it's a love connection, but we'll see. Uh, in the recent past, the Empress. That's just... Uh, ideal energy right there nurturing creative balanced all the good things attractive three of cups in the strength uh this is uh about coming together uh celebrating in good times feeling good bringing something together having it work out this is in our strength in the immediate future there's a tower some sort of jolting surprising energy there in the supportive energies, the Queen of Wands, she represents our attractions. What we attract, what is attracted to us. She's like a magnet. Uh, the outside influence that you may or may not be aware of, the Hanged Man. This is on pause. This is gaining perspective. Not taking any action, just uh, observing. In the hopes and fears, the Ace of Wands, uh, taking some kind of bold action. Um, uh, we'll find again. We'll find out more with the clarifiers. Uh, the Queen of Cups is the potential outcome. She comes with her heart wide open. Full cup of love. Very nurturing. Very forgiving. Very loving. Very supportive. All right. Let's go ahead and clarify this Knight of Cups, please. Spirit, what does Scorpio need to know about this messenger of emotions in the overall energy expressing ourselves? What's going on? What does Scorpio need to know, please? There it is. The Magician, the High Priestess, and the Three of Wands. Waiting to express our emotions. We're, we're, we're trying to manifest this uh, here. 
We're trying to manifest an expression, manifest mes uh, delivering messages of our emotions. We're waiting to embark on this journey. We're going within. We're listening to our intuition about how to manifest this. That's what it looks like. Okay. And the reason we're here, King of Wands. Very sexy energy right there. Perfect match to the queen. Perfect attraction. Very confident energy. Masterful in the actions that they take. They don't second guess themselves, the king. Nope. All right. Let's take a look at the page of wands. Show us the page of wands, spirit. What does Scorpio need to know about this energy of going after a new interest? Oh, we have the eight of wands in reverse. Okay. And the three of cups. Hmm. And the ten of swords. Whoa. This is all over the place. This is no communication. Something has ended and you want to bring it together. That's what this says. Uh, there's no energy exchange here. No, it's like communication is cut off painful ending but three of cups is wanting to bring it together and we have the three of cups up there in your strength as well so seeing it twice already pay attention to repeating energies there should be extra highlight on that the reason we're here king of pentacles king of wands over here king of pentacles over there uh so I believe this is you showing up in this king energy so sure of yourself over here because um, you know you want to bring it together but I don't like that there's no communication whatever this is the eight of wands it's it's just not not happening uh, but you're hopeful here uh, he's the master manager of things so showing how you want to manage this situation masterfully and bring it together all right let's look at the ace of pentacles this opportunity to build some stability from the ground up here it's crossing you it's in front of you it's your challenge it's what you're dealing with as you go after this interest of bringing it together somehow show us the ace of pentacles please what does scorpio need to know There's the King of Wands again. Interesting. Whoops. Uh, let's do it this way so we can still see the cards. Six of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. And at the bottom, the Seven of Cups. Um, because the Seven of Cups is here, it almost makes me think that each of these cards, they feel so different, they almost feel separate. And I'm, I was trying to link them together before I looked at the bottom. But when I saw this, I was like, oh, maybe they're just separate choices taking masterful action to build stability or taking another approach choosing a different cup and getting everyone on the same page about building stability like this isn't you doing it yourself this is you doing it with other people or another person and then the five of cups is another choice of just abandoning it all together so there's lots of choices to make and there's some confusion surrounding them when it's uh uh, as far as is a challenge to you bringing all this together just looking at different different ways to approach it I guess all right let's look at the two of cups let's look at this soul connection partnership two of cups in your focus show us the two of cups in cancer's focus please what do they need to know two of cups two of cups two of cups two of cups 
There it is. Oh, four of cups. Ace of Pentacles again. Nine of Wands. So you're quite upset here. Perhaps both of you are upset here. Um, it looks like trust has been lost. It looks like maybe both parties have been wounded here a little bit. Let's look at the bottom. Ace of Wands right there. So we have the Ace of Pentacles right there and the Ace of Wands both coming up over here on the, on the partnership. So perhaps both of you are hurt about something maybe the maybe this four of cups could even be a missed opportunity to build stability because of being stuck in past wounds we didn't heal from it we didn't fully heal from some kind of battle that we went through we're both wounded one or both of us i'm not sure i think both of us over here we're both upset two of cups four of cups we're both upset we, there's this opportunity coming in that we could take this ace of pentacles but we're feeling very guarded very guarded we don't really trust we're on guard worried is something else going to come at us are we going to have another fight another battle i don't know what is going on here let's look at the recent past with the empress this ideal energy this most beautiful just perfect energy it's like you know saying some that's my perfect person right there i think they're perfect show us the empress the Empress and the Emperor just came out. Look at that. Speaking of perfect, they're the perfect pair, the perfect couple. The Emperor and the Empress. Husband and wife, perhaps? Could be. Strength. And the Nine of Swords. So, whatever happened, it's hard. There's a lot of stress and anxiety here between this couple. Um sleepless nights crying stressed out worried about this day and night strength is here because something happened that was really hard uh it also speaks to taming the inner beast and then the nine of swords showed up after that the somebody being up in their heads overthinking things that could be you know the shadow side the inner beast uh needing to be overcome uh with with strength you know but yeah this is Whatever this is, it's it's really stressful, really hard on this couple, the Emperor and the Empress. And the reason we're here, look at that, yeah, something big changed. Something happened in the recent past that created a major change. Okay. All right. Uh... It's funny, I kind of went out of order with the cards, but there are no mistakes. <laughs> I went from the focus to the strength instead of around the circle. Wow, I just realized that. Okay, doesn't matter. Let's move on to, in the immediate future, the tower. What in the world? I hope it's a good tower. Let it be a good surprise, a good shock. Why is the tower here? What is this tower, please? What does Scorpio need to know about this tower in the immediate future? Knight of Wands. Page of Wands. Two of Pentacles. That's nice energy. It's actually a nice surprise to see that energy. Underline. Oh. Three of Swords. The Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands. Knight of Wands is very playful energy. Someone who just is the life of the party. Uh, wants to have a good time. Uh, with the Page of Wands. Which is how you showed up right here. Um, you know, uh, go again, going after one's passions, willing to learn more and being open to a situation. Um, 
the uh, the two of pentacles going back and forth doing a balancing act between the the knight of wands page of wands this could be a, a surprise a good surprise of two energies getting together that want to have a good time and enjoy each other's company and it's coming out on the tower it's like a, a, a shock a jolt a surprise and we're here because hearts were broken so if, if this is why we're here but these nice cards show up bringing a sense of balance to the situation we're starting small these aren't huge energies we're not going to the king and the queen we're you know we're early on with the page and the night just having a good time going back and forth keeping things in balance it's it looks like a nice surprise like we don't expect it we want it we don't expect it we're here because hearts have been broken but we're getting along right here so the the other way that we can read this is the page of wands denotes a new interest the knight of wands wants to play and have a good time if these are energies of like somebody going another direction with a new interest a new interest of the of the heart it could be destructive and cause a tower that brings heartbreak and the two of pentacles could be somebody going back and forth in a relationship in other words they're in a relationship but they're going back and forth between who they're in a relationship with and somebody else who is a new interest so it could be something like that knight of wands could be somebody immature who is yes they're a lot of fun but they also behave very impulsively impulsively going after a new interest going back and forth back and forth causing a tower causing heartache so it could be read like that too it just sort of depends on how you phrase it honestly Let's move on and see how the rest of the reading uh, unfolds. And we'll get more of an idea of what's going on here between this emperor and this empress, this uh, soul connection that has been through, that is upset and wounded, feeling hurt and untrusting, definitely untrusting and on guard about possibly building a... a building some kind of stability from the ground up it's like something happened something ended and if you're going to bring this back together you're going to have to start all over from ground zero because all the trust has been burnt to the ground i guess i don't know let's take a look at the queen of wands supporting the energy of this reading this is our attraction what we attract and what is attracted to us show us the queen of wands Five of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. There it is, Ace of Wands. Uh, and the reason we're here, the Hermit. Yeah, the Ace of Wands repre represents bold action, right? An opportunity to take bold action. The Five of Swords says this is about winning at all costs, this thing we're attracted to. And the Eight of Pentacles says we're working on this, we're focusing on it. It needs repetitive focus and to take bold action. Repetitive focus to take bold action to win the goal of what we want, our attraction, winning at all costs. But what are the costs? that just says you're willing to make some sacrifices to get there or you're going to have to make some sacrifices to get there. But this energy is supporting the reading. It is, um, it's saying it's here to take bold action if, if you want it. Doing uh, great healing work and introspective work. Isolating from the situation, shining the light in the dark, trying to figure out what is in our way and how do we fix it. 
It's definitely going to take some kind of bold moves and some sacrifice and a lot of focus. All right. The outside influence that you may or may not be aware of. The hanged man. Gaining perspective. Gaining perspective. Looking at things from all angles. Why is the hangman here? What does Scorpio need to know? Yeah, no, that's too many. Like half the deck just flipped up. <laughs> Maybe not half the deck, probably like five cards. All right, there we go. You can't see it. Trying to gain perspective on, and make a decision and you, can't, you just can't see it. Page of Swords, that's the overall energy, or not the overall energy, delivering messages of, of emotion and, and love is but that is the reason that brought us to this reading because we're taking a second look at something so we already looked at it once this is taking a closer look but we can't see we can't see so we need to take a closer look that's what it is we can't make it to sit we're undecided we're trying to gain perspective we can't see something so we go in to take a closer look the sun. We're looking for success. We're looking for happiness. We're looking for bliss. How do we get successful? How do we uh, bring back the joy? The joy that the emperor and the empress used to have. You're going in to take another look. It's supporting this reading. And it's the energy from the outside that you may or may not be aware of. So it's it's part of your energy and it's part of outside influence as well. Confusion. Take another look to gain perspective. You and your person both need to take part in that, I believe. And the reason we're here, the moon, because there are things that are hidden. We need to go in and take a closer look. Uh, secrets, buried emotions, things yet to be revealed. We need to look further. We need to look closer. There's more buried beneath the surface is what this little lineup is saying. There's more beneath the surface. More more than what's on the surface that meets the eye. All right, in the hopes and fears, let's take a look at this Ace of Wands. Bold action in the hopes and fears. An opportunity, a new opportunity for some new bold action. What's going on here with the Ace? Oh, we have the Queen of Cups. Very nice. She's coming up next in the potential outcome. So here she is. With the King of Pentacles. And the Five of Wands. This is a conflict. This is um, arguments, battles, struggle. I don't know, is this saying we have to be willing to fight it out between this couple? Come with our hearts wide open uh, so that we can manage this situation in a bold new way? But there's conflict. Well, it's in the position of hopes and fears, so this would be... I want to make a bold move. I want to bring it together and bring our balance back together. But there might be a lot of fighting and arguing that go on. So that could be your your fear right here. And the bottom, the reason we're here. Yeah, the Queen of Wands. Yeah, this is our attraction right here. Queen of Cups, King of Pentacles. It's this couple right here represented again as their masterful selves come in with their full love cup. They're hot for each other. There's so much passion here with the Queen of Wands. Lots of lots and lots of attraction. Um, and uh, an abundance. An abundance, a steadiness, a reliability, a support system, a lot of balance. It, it's all here. But then there's that Five of Wands conflict. I don't understand it because the energies. You guys seem to match each other in an amazing way, and yet this conflict keeps showing up. All right. Okay, I mean, conflict just because one person's behaving one way and the other's behaving another. Let's look at the Queen of Cups. 
potential outcome, spirit. She's the most loving energy. Show us the Queen of Cups in the potential outcome. Nurturing, loving, forgiving. Knight of Swords. Two of Wands. Nine of Cups. Contemplating the future for personal wishes to be fulfilled. We have a Knight of Swords ready to rush in and take action. My heart is wide open. I'm ready to go. Planning out the future for happiness, but it's kind of Uh, one's own personal happiness and satisfaction and the reason we're here the eight of swords there's uh, somebody confused we're here because of a stuck energy and confusion maybe that's the conflict one of you is sort of in this state of mind I don't know what to do I'm confused they're not sure of themselves at all while the other person is very sure that's what it feels like. All right, let's pull some advice from the universe. Spirit, what advice do you have for Scorpio going through these energies? Whoever this is, it is confusing. It is confusing. Some Somebody's sure and somebody's not sure in this relationship. And there's a lot of upset energy. All right, there we go. Seven of Swords. Three of Pentacles. King of Wands. And the reason we're here, the Sun. <sighs> Somebody's moving on. And somebody wants to bring it together. I don't know it's um, perhaps friendship is on the table here as somebody leaves the three of Pentacles says hey we you know maybe we can still be friends and at least have a little bit of stability I think spirit is saying that's probably the most masterful action King of Wands masterful action that we can take at this time because these are two different energies. It's like one of you is doing this and the other one wants this, wants to at least have something. And that's the best case scenario at this time with the sun on the bottom. Or at least we have to start here to head towards here. Masterful action, let's be friends. Somebody's Somebody's moving on here. I don't like it. Anyway, let's uh, let's pull an oracle card to close off this reading. Spirit, what special message do you have for Scorpio? From the Gateway of Light Activation Oracle. What special message do you have for Scorpio going through these energies? Where two people are not on the same page just not on the same page look up here this king of wands and is different like than this energy wanting to move away and when we look up to the king of wands over here this six of pentacles is a card about being on the same page but this is the card of abandonment the five of pentacles if we if we look up here and we reference that when it comes to building stability from the ground up somebody's making a decision to abandon uh, this whole idea of balance and people on the same page. Somebody's abandoning it. I don't know if it's the king or the other person, but it kind of feels related since the, the king of wands showed up here and here. 
All right. All right, Spirit. What special message do you have for, for Scorpio from the Gateway of Light Activation Oracle by Kyle Gray? It'll have a little short something for me to read. Whoever's going through these energies, let this message be for them, Spirit. Each of these cards is a gateway that has a special activation and a message just for you. They sort of stick together. I'll let Spirit flip the card up when they're ready to <laughs> single it out. All right, the one flipped up. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. We have... Oh, Cancer just got this same one, I believe. It's Anunnaki Light Codes. Energetic shift, new information, and end of a cycle. And here is your message. Great change is coming to you, but this can only occur if you are willing to shift your perception. You may be experiencing resistance to change, but please know this is simply fear of the new, not intuition. If you are wondering what is the best course of action, the Anunnaki are encouraging you to go with the new. Old systems, old ways of being, and old ways of doing things must be released if you are to evolve. Change can bring a sense of vulnerability, but will allow you to make deeper connection to your feelings, gifts, and what is important to you. You are standing at a gateway of pure potential that will be ignited as soon as you move through this necessary change. Be open to new information, new processes, and new ideas. You are part of the new energy upon Earth. Anunnaki light codes. All right, that's what we have. I hope it helps. If anything, you've got validation about what you're going through, and uh, seeing it from a bird's eye perspective might help you moving forward. I hope it does. Thank you so much for being here, and I look forward to reading for you guys next time. Take care. <laughs>